In the previous lessons, we learned that rate is a fixed relationship between two quantities with two different units. In this lesson, we are going to look at how rates are being applied to data table. Well, an art museum requires one supervisor for every student. There you go, we have our first rate, which is one supervisor for every six students. So we have two quantities of two different units, supervisor and student, which can be expressed in this way as well. Six student equal to one supervisor. And the reason I'm showing you how to write ratio as a fraction because you need to get used to this because this is the most important analytical skill when you take upper division science class. Complete the table to determine the maximum number of students can go if four teachers accompany the student on this trip. So here's a little tricky part. See right there they use the term teacher. Well this is just to trick you because a teacher is a supervisor. So be careful with that, okay? So let's look at the table. We have one supervisor has six students, two supervisor. So remember how one supervisor can have six students. So we have plus one more. If that's the case, down here will be plus another six. So what is six plus six? There's 12. And then you go, here we have a third one right here, another supervisor, add another one. Well, down here, see how the rate stays the same? Every time you add a supervisor, you add six student. This is exactly what we just did here. So plus another six, what's 12 plus six? Give us 18. Then we add another supervisor. So remember, this right here are supervisor. And here we have students. What's 18 plus 6? Well, 18 plus 6 gave us 24. So what's the maximum number of students that can go on a field trip with four teachers? 24. So in this lesson, we look at rate in a form of data table and how we complete the data table based on a given rate. Thank you for watching and we hope that this video have empowered you to do well in your math class. Streamline Ed PD is an all-in-one education training by teachers with the mission to empower teachers to support all students. We have interactive practice that go along with this video. The links are in the description below. If you would like your teacher to use this video or create similar video to support you and your classmate, please subscribe and share this video and your learning experience with your teachers and parents. Together we can empower you to be successful in school.